Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. It's time for some Bob's picks here on TCM. The ones I've chosen for this March are a group which we haven't shown on TCM in prime time for quite a spell. All of them extremely entertaining and quite a jolly mix, I think. In the hours ahead, we have a lively musical for you. We also have a strong emotional drama. We also have a very touching Chaplin film and a rowdy comedy with the Marx Brothers. We're going to start with a movie that never fails to pick up one spirits, MGM's Good News from 1947. One of my prime favorites among all movie musicals, actually, although it's never one which shows up on most lists of the best of that genre. The few movies you'll ever see are as jaunty and lively and as fun. The cast is headed by June Allison and Peter Lawford, and they're surrounded by a great group of talented people, many of them from the Broadway stage, like Joan McCracken, Ray McDonald, and Patricia Marshall, with the singer known as the Velvet Fog, Mel Torme, also prominent in the cast. And one reason I like this movie so much is because it's such a definitive example of the unique talent of one of the legendary vocal arrangers of the movies, Kay Thompson. She's the lady who gave so many of the MGM musicals of the 40s their particular sound and their panache. Kay primarily worked behind the scenes at MGM, doing vocal arrangements for Judy Garland, Lena Horne, and others, but she later caused a great hubbub of her own when she starred in a nightclub act with Andy Williams and his brothers, an act which has become legendary in show business annals. Kay Thompson also became an on-camera movie legend herself thanks to the movie Funny Face, which she co-starred with Fred Astaire and Audrey Hepburn. Kay Thompson is also famous for being the godmother of Liza Minnelli and famous for creating the character of Eloise in a whole series of books that she wrote. And speaking of books, I really highly recommend this one from Sam Irvin, titled Kay Thompson, From Funny Face to Eloise. All about her life and particularly fascinating to anyone interested in movies and the heyday of the big movie factories like MGM. For an example of Kay Thompson's amazing work as a vocal arranger, there's no movie better than this next one. Her work evident from the moment the credits start and a chorus starts singing the title song, the vocal arrangements are pure Kay Thompson. A difficult sound to describe, never fully duplicated. And because of that, the film itself on all levels is sunny, uncomplicated, good-natured, and the perfect example of a feel-good movie. So here it is from 1947 with a screenplay by the wise and witty Betty Compton and Adolph Green. Here's good news.